Welcome to Realtree Global Hunting. This week I'm back in Newfoundland, Canada on the hunt for trophy Canadian moose. Newfoundland offers challenging hunting conditions across some of the most difficult terrain I've encountered. Moose hunting here is certainly not for the faint-hearted. My last outing here with Ironbound Outfitters saw us harvest a young bull moose for meat with a pretty epic display of shooting. My guide and good friend Donny Benoit led me uphill and down dale before we finally found our moose. It was an incredibly challenging and rewarding hunt. Then Donny showed us how to pack out the meat from such a huge animal and we discovered how it gets processed and put back into the food chain. This time we're on the hunt for not one but two trophy bulls and again it's Donny leading the way. He knows this ground like the back of his hand and after several days of walking, stalking and glassing, he's sure he's got a good idea of where the bulls will be. After several hours of clambering through thick spruce forests and across dangerously deep marshes, we reach a remote spot where we spotted a group of moose from our mountaintop vantage point the previous day. Ahead of us we can see the giant frame of a moose cow feeding away quietly as well as two other pairs of antlers in the thick spruce surrounding her. I load the Blazer R8 Professional and manoeuvre slowly and quietly into position. Donnie begins to call. And all three moose look up. He's got their attention, I just need to wait until they stand. I get my sights on the bull to the right of the screen, and as he stands, I fire. The three of them stand and look puzzled. They're not sure of where the shot came from. However, I'm confident that I've made a good shot on my bull, even though he's not reacted yet. Then, his legs begin to wobble. I take another insurance shot, just to be sure. And again, there's no reaction. These giant Canadian moose are such big and tough animals, they don't tend to flinch, kick their legs or buck like other deer. But then, his legs begin to wobble. And he hits the deck. I quickly readjust and get my sights on the other bull. I fire. But no reaction from the bull, and I fire again. This time, he also hits the deck. Two other moose rise out of the thick stuff and they all stand puzzled, but don't run. But then slowly they begin to move on. So that's both of them down. The bigger one took two shots and that second one, I'm pretty sure the first shot was good. Just quartering away, heading up the hill, had to take it. As it turned, gave me a perfect broadside shot and then went straight down, so absolutely incredible. The other, two, the other ones now, they're just, just slowly making my way up the hill. There's another bull just got up to the right, younger one. Unbelievable, you, don't know, you wouldn't believe how many are all here at the same time. So just give them a chance to, to clear over the hill at the top there. They're looking back, they're not sure what to do. Obviously the bigger one, the bigger one is obviously the dominant bull here. I'll just decock the gun. Both bulls are down. I suppose it's unusual this time of the year to see 
two reasonably big balls together. That one is an absolute monster, the first one that went down. I'm pretty tough, as I say, I'm pretty happy with the first shot. But he did go down. With the second, he seemed to limp away. It's 220 yards, so it's a reasonable distance for these Hornady interlock. I've got a Zeiss 2.5 to 10, it's up on full mag. Gives me a good sight picture, I could move cleanly from one ball to the other. Right, now let's go and have a look. This thing is a monster. Honey, what, what have you done now, buddy? <laughs> Jeez, look at the size of this bad boy. Looks like somebody's already had a shot at him, Donnie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What a magnificent animal. Now, that has to be one of the biggest moose I've ever seen and worth all the time and effort. Now, we spotted this bad boy with his antlers flashing, his pans flashing in the sunshine. It was about three days ago now. Three days ago, yeah. But he's in a very um, remote part of, uh, of the countryside here, right across the lake from where we were. We were sat right up on that hill as an observation point. So we spotted him, he was bedded down here with a group of six other moose, one other bull that we took at the same time. But this is the one that really that we wanted. But I did have two tags and boy, un breathtaking. I don't know what to say really. This is probably one of the only times in my entire career that I've been speechless, but that is a magnificent animal. <laughs> he was lying down here, snoozing away. It's a nice warm day. It was raining a bit, but it's still nice and warm. And then Donnie made a couple of moose calls and then the both bulls stood up. This one first yeah. and then the other one, face straight at us. I guess he was just going to get up and just see what's going to happen. The next move, something's going to happen here, right? But they d he did turn and he was going to start to walk away before I took the shots. Turn broadside and he was going to yeah. be heading back up. Why don't they respond to calls maybe he, this time of the year? He might have been going to go after the other bull, we don't know, right? Right. That's the first thing this he's first thing he's gonna do is defend it. So there we have it. So let's go and have a look and see see our other bull. This is just one of the bulls that we harvested, so yeah, let's go. That's over here. Yes, now this is another <laughs> massive animal. Look at the daggers on these boy. How old would you say this one is, Donnie? He's a one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven pointer. Well, huge in the body. Um, as you can see, it looks like we've got a bit of stomach damage there, but another nice wide spread on him and a big, big bodied animal. So, how, would you, how old would you say this one is? Well, it's hard to say. I say three and a half years old. Yeah. Nice wide spread, good yeah. points, nice pans. See the butts on this one, it's not quite as big as the one on the other one. Yeah. So that one definitely had a year or two on that one. But still, a magnificent animal and a trophy I'm sure that anybody would I have. I wouldn't pass this up. No, for sure. What a breathtaking animal, and that's two. It's the first time I've had two moose tags at the same time, and it's fortunate we had an opportunity of taking both, both, both bulls yeah. at the same time. So we've got an awful lot of work here to do now, cape both of these out and get them boned out, ready for packing out. And I think uh, rather than carrying them out, we're probably going to get a canoe tomorrow and can pick, pick up the meat. So. Anything's better than carrying So we've got a lot, a lot of work to do with Donnie. Congratulations, mate. That's awesome. Well done, mate. World's greatest moose guide right here. Thank you. Okay, let's get to work. Another amazing moose hunt with the guys here at Ironbound Outfitters. And another job well done by the legend Donnie Benoit. Keep checking back to Team Wild TV's Carnivore, where we'll be showing you how to dress out a huge Canadian trophy bull with the legendary master moose guide Donny Benoit. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.